right, let's talk about a repayment schedule here. Okay, so the repayment schedule for a $1,300 loan is 7.5% for six months. What is the amount of interest at payment five? So here is our repayment table. And so here is how it works. So you have monthly payment. Um, for your monthly payments, every month you're paying off a little bit more. So notice the interest is getting lower and lower because you don't owe quite as much. So this column right here is the amount of interest. That's how much of your payment goes to interest. This column here is how much goes to your principal or to pay off your balance. So let's see. We started with a $1,300 loan. So we made our first payment of $221.43, but notice that part of that went to interest. This is what went to principal. So if we subtract here $213.31, that'll tell us what the new balance of our loan is. The principal goes to them, um, excuse me, the interest goes to them, so you can't deduct that from the balance of your loan, only the part that goes to principal. Okay, when I do that, I get $1,086.69. That's my new principal. I want to know what's the amount of interest on payment five. Well, to know that, I have to know what my principal balance is. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's find out what's our principal after payment two. Well, after payment two, again, we paid the same amount, but here $6.79 was interest, and here $214.64 actually deducted from our loan. So we take our previous balance of $1,086.69, we subtract from that the amount of principal that was deducted. And when I do, I get a new balance of $872.05. So, $872.05. Okay, I need to keep going here. Okay, so now I have a new balance. Again, I make a payment, my third payment of $221.43. The amount of interest was $5.45. The amount to principal, this is the amount I care about because this is what actually deducts from my loan, was $215.98. So when I'm finding my due, new balance, I take my $872.05, my previous balance, minus $215.98. I get a new balance of $656.07. Okay, notice if needed, we do have these formulas down here um, about how you find the interest, the payment to principal, and the new principal balance. Because now we've come to a part where we don't have any of the information, except for our monthly payment. We know we're going to pay $221.43. Here, I need to know the amount that goes to interest so I can figure out how much goes to principal and what my new principal balance is. So to do that, interest you take your principal balance which is your newest principal balance so we're going to take this one right here 65607 times your rate our rate was 7.5 percent so if we move our decimal two places to the left we get 0 0.075 times 112 because it's for one month so it's one twelfth of a year so to calculate that, you do 656.07 times 0 .075, and then divide by 12. Okay, when I do that, I get $4.10. So my next entry here on my spreadsheet is four dollars and ten cents now I need to know what amount went to principal so here we have payment to principal is whatever your monthly payment is minus the interest so our monthly payment was two hundred and twenty one dollars and forty three cents four dollars and ten cents of that went to interest so we subtract two twenty one forty three minus four ten that gives us $217.33. Okay, 
That's the amount that went to principal. So now what's our new principal balance? Well, it's our $656.07 minus the $217.33 we just subtracted from our principal. So we take 656.07 minus 217.33. When we do, we get $438.74. So we're almost there. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the only way to kind of work through the table. You have to start at the top and fill in as you go down. What was our question again? Um, what is the amount of interest on payment five? So we're almost there. Okay. So if we look at this, again, we're making a monthly payment of $221.43. To find our interest, we take our new loan balance times our interest rate. So again, our new loan balance is $438.74. Take that times our interest rate, 0 0.075, and again, divide by 12, because we're just doing 1 12th of a year. And we get 2.74, so $2.74. And I finally have answered that question. The amount of interest on payment number five is going to be two dollars and seventy four cents. What is the principal after the second payment? Well, let's go back and see because we already did that. Hey, okay, what's the principal balance after the second payment? It looks like it's eight hundred and seventy two dollars and five cents. How did we find that? Well, you take we took our original balance starting at the top, and you just subtract the amount of principal that comes out with each payment. So we took the $1,300 minus $213.31 to get a ba balance after the first payment of $1,086.69. Then after the second payment, again, you subtract the amount of principal that came out, and we ended up with $872.05. And finally, what is the amount of interest at payment six? Okay, so we've already started this. I'm not going to start clear at the top again. I'm going to go back to our previous slide. And this time we want to know the amount of interest um, for payment six. So let's keep going here. We found out that for payment five, our interest was $2.74. Again, our payment amount was $221.43. So we take that and subtract the amount of interest, which was $2.74. So on this set of questions, I suggest keeping your work and just adding to it as you go, rather than having to start all over again. So we get $218.69 for the new, the principal that was taken out. We need to find the new loan balance. So we were at $438.74 this time. We get to subtract $218.69, and that leaves us with $220.05. All right, so the question on that slide we were on was, what is the amount of interest for payment six? And again, to find that, you take the previous balance, which in this case was $220.05, times your interest rate, 0 0.075, times a 12th, or another way to do that is dividing by 12. So we take 220.05 times 0 0.075, and we divide by 12. And when we do, we get $1.38. So the amount of interest owed on this last payment is $1.38. So that would be my answer to what's the amount of interest for payment six.